Greetings. In this brief video, I'm going to show you how to add Zoom meeting sessions into your course. This is done after you have added the LTI or external tool into your course page. You do not need to turn editing on for this. Simply go to the tab you have added the tool into and scroll down to it and click on its name. Once the course meeting list has appeared, you can add meetings to it by clicking Schedule a New Meeting. The students will only see the topic name. They will not see a description. You can change the topic to be anything you would like to reflect the topic of this meeting. Pick the date by clicking in the date box and selecting a date and using the small arrows at the top here to pick a future date. Pick a time. If your class is starting at a different time than listed, you can click in the box and type and add a colon and pick a specific time and choose AM or PM. The duration of the meeting is a suggested duration and will not end your meeting directly. We will go over recurring meetings in the next video. A password is defaulted to be on, but students do not need to see it, nor do they need to know what it is. Simply clicking join on their end will let them into the meeting as long as they are joining from eClass. A waiting room is defaulted to be on for safety reasons. And the authenticated users can join is a feature that we do not have initialized at the moment. You can choose if a host is going to have their video on when entering the meeting, and the same for the participant. These are defaulted to be off. The audio allows students and instructors to use a telephone or a mobile device and computer audio as well. Some more features available to you. Enable join before host, so students are there before you turn the meeting open. Mute participants on entry, if you notice some background noise. Breakout rooms, you can use your personal meeting ID and record the meeting automatically. We suggest that you record your meeting automatically and it is in the cloud. So you may share it with your class after the session is done. Click save. If you have entered in something incorrectly, when you click save, it will warn you. Fix any errors if you have them and click save. Scrolling back up inside this window, you may click on course meetings again from here or zoom meetings from here to see your list of available meetings. Thank you for watching.